Hello there. The heat will be building yet again through this week across some central and western parts of Europe, particularly France, in towards the UK and southern Scandinavia too. Further east, you can see on the satellite image this cloud here. This has been producing some heavy showers across northern parts of Italy through the Balkans as well. That area of showery rain pushing a little bit further eastwards through Tuesday. So into central and southern Italy, Croatia, stretching up towards Romania and heading to Moscow as well. For Turkey, one or two showers over the higher ground, but lots of dry weather a little bit cooler than it has been for the southeast of Europe here pleasant in Greece with temperatures in the mid 30s heading across the Mediterranean and we'll see the odd shower building over the higher ground of Spain too and it's starting to warm up for the likes of Madrid Bordeaux 37 degrees there and that heat just drifting a little bit further northwards it will be hotter than this through the second half of the week ahead but for northern parts of Scandinavia we've got rain bearing cloud and breezy conditions there so for Wednesday, then that heat becoming more intense across parts of France in particular. We've also got Mistral winds blowing, so that's increasing the risk of fires close to the Mediterranean region in particular. London and Paris are staying warm and dry over the next five days or so. Could be some showers just building in Madrid through the course of the weekend. Rome also looking dry. Temperatures are on the rise for Berlin too, with one or two showers around for Kiev. Bye-bye. Hello there. The heat will be holding on a little bit longer across parts of the Pacific Northwest, but the heat and humidity in the east tending to ease away, down to the fact that we've got a weather front here, which is going to be pushing its way across the Great Lakes gradually for the next 24 hours or so before arriving in the northeast. So bringing some thunderstorms to the likes of New York, but also some cooler air behind that as well. Still warm and dry for parts of Western Canada towards the Pacific Northwest as well. But some heavy showers further south, especially affecting the desert southwest and the Four Corners region, where we could see some localised flooding. We're expecting about one to three inches of rainfall through into the middle of the week. Some rain pushing across Alaska, but largely warm and dry for British Columbia. Could be the odd light shower for Vancouver. As we move our way south, lots of sunshine for coastal parts of California, but further inland over the higher ground, some heavy showers building. Here's the outlook then over the next few days. Could be a bit of rain heading towards Seattle through the day on Wednesday. Los Angeles warming up by a few degrees through the mid of, middle part of the week. But towards the east, a different picture as that cold front sweeps in. So some heavy showers and some thunderstorms later in the day sweeping into New York and Washington DC. And as we head further south, plenty of those heavy showers down towards Georgia and in towards Louisiana and Mississippi as well. So here's how things are looking then cooling down from New York with some thunderstorms and a similar picture in Atlanta. Bye-bye. Hello there. There's a line of cloud and rain across central parts of South America at the moment. We can see it on the satellite image here. Now this is the dividing line between pretty warm air to the north of that affecting central parts of Brazil to much cooler air further south for southern Brazil, Paraguay, down towards parts of Argentina and Uruguay as well. So this band of rain producing some heavy bursts for Rio de Janeiro for instance. To the south of that in that cooler air some heavy rain and mountain snow for the southern Andes. Meanwhile, further north on Tuesday, heavy rain developing across Colombia. Could be some flooding issues, in fact, later through this week. A lot of warm, dry weather for many northern and central parts of Brazil, but heavier rain further south underneath that slow-moving frontal system. So it is cooler, so Buenos Aires at around about 14 degrees, below average for this time of year, but it should warm up a little bit later in the week. And we can see those temperatures just increasing for Buenos Aires. Rio de Janeiro does stick under the cloud with some outbreaks of rain, but it's going to be brightening up here into the weekend. On to Central America, then a few heavy showers here and there across parts of Mexico, but more persistent rain further south into Nicaragua, Guatemala and Honduras as well. Belize also seeing some heavy showers and some thunderstorms across the Caribbean. Again, sunny spells, but one or two showers cropping up through the day on Tuesday. They will be hit and miss. Havana seeing plenty of them, but fewer showers, more sunshine to come for Kingston. Bye for now. Hello. Let's take a look at the weather across the Middle East and Africa too. We'll start with the satellite image across Africa and you can see this zone here of cloud, the ITCZ, the Intertropical Convergence Zone, which is quite active at the moment. So plenty of heavy downpours developing around Ethiopia and they're spreading their way westwards into West Africa towards Sierra Leone, for instance. Meanwhile, just to the south of that, some pretty warm air in place for Central Africa, particularly the DRC, temperatures above average here. Down towards South Africa, an approaching weather front is 
going to bring some rain to Cape Town and also some cooler conditions more widely across South Africa uh, through the coming weeks. So you can see in Cape Town a bit of a dip in the temperature with the arrival of some unsettled and wet weather, but Johannesburg avoiding the rain, staying dry and pretty warm too. In Khartoum, some heavy showers and some thunderstorms at times over the next five days or so, dry for Casablanca, Kinshasa and for Lusaka. Now if we head across the Middle East then, it's particularly hot still across parts of Iraq, Kuwait and Iran, temperatures close to or even above 50 degrees there, but head further south and a cooler spell of weather for southern Saudi Arabia down towards Yemen as some heavy showers and thunderstorms are developing here, so there could well be some localised flooding, particularly for western parts of Yemen. Uh, quite a brisk southwesterly breeze around the coast of Oman as well. So this is the outlook then. A little bit of cloud at times for Muscat, but staying hot in Q8. Bye-bye. Hello there. Monsoon rainfall will continue to be heavy across parts of India through the course of this week. Less heavy in the west where we've had recent flooding, but towards the east. In fact, in the Bay of Bengal, there's a big area of low pressure that's developed and there's a lot of cloud that's starting to spiral around that. So many areas around the Bay of Bengal seeing particularly heavy downpours through this week. Anywhere through Myanmar, Bangladesh, in towards central parts of India too, so Andhra Pradesh, Odisha as well. Meanwhile, further west, still some heavy downpours from Mumbai down the west coast as well and into southern parts of Pakistan, some heavy showers causing some flooding. But for northern India and across Nepal, drier than we'd expect for this time of year. Heading into Central Asia, a few showers across parts of Kazakhstan. Should be hot and dry for Ashgabat, but still some showers sitting close to the Caspian Sea there. Then we're back into the heavy downpours and thunderstorms for Karachi, Mumbai as well. Not too heavy down the west coast, and I think it's mostly dry down towards Mali. Just one or two showers cropping up here, and a similar picture across Sri Lanka as well. Dry in Chennai, 34 degrees here, but some heavier downpours affecting the likes of Nagpur all the way towards Assam and across Bangladesh as well. Mumbai will keep with the showery theme over the next few days, perhaps a little bit drier here heading towards the weekend. Dakar largely dry with temperatures in the low 30s. Meanwhile, Tashkent seeing those temperatures on the rise over the next few days. Showers at times in Karachi. Bye-bye. Hello there. Some heavy rain around across parts of Southeast Asia for the next few days, and that's because we've got an area of low pressure sitting across the South China Sea, helping to drive these big shower clouds you can see on the satellite image here. So heavy downpours rotating around that area of low pressure, bringing heavy rain to parts of the Philippines, Hong Kong, towards Vietnam as well. To the north of that also, a weather front brings some rain to Beijing, Seoul, and northern parts of Japan, a little bit drier for Tokyo, hot weather holding on for parts of eastern China, including Shanghai, 39 degrees on Tuesday. Heavy downpours for Hong Kong towards Manila, towards Bangkok as well, but fewer showers further south into central Indonesia. Here's the outlook over the next five days, and Osaka is looking generally dry, a bit of sunshine around, some rain at times affecting Beijing, and some heavy downpours for Bangkok, and at times for Seoul as well. Onto Australia now, and as low pressure drifts its way eastwards, things will improve a little bit for Perth, but some showers heading towards South Australia and Victoria as well, where it's been pretty chilly there with nighttime frosts. Heading across to New Zealand, and we've had a southwesterly wind bringing pretty cold air right across the South Island, still 8 degrees there for Christchurch, and that colder air will spill into the North Island, still some outbreaks of rain there towards Northland. Sydney pretty unsettled with showers around at times, turning a little bit milder though in Wellington. Bye-bye.